Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Before we can add a Windows Server 2008 R2 domain controller into a forest or domain, that has Windows Server 2000 or Windows Server 2003 domain controllers, we actually need to prepare the forest and prepare the domain. And by preparing the forest, we actually modify and prepare the schema. And the reason we have to do this is because there are objects and attributes of objects in the Active Directory schema that Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2008 R2 uses that are not currently in a Windows 2000 or Windows 2003 Active Directory schema. So we need to put those in so that we can add a Windows Server 2008 or Windows Server 2008 R2 domain controller. And in order to prepare the forest, we need to be on the Schema Master server, or the domain controller that has the Schema Master Operations Master role. To figure out which server or which domain controller has that role, we can use the Schema Admin tool. To use that tool, I'm just going to go to Run, and we're going to go type in reg svr32 space schmmgmt.dll. We have to register this DLL in order to use the schema admin tool. So go ahead and click OK. Now let's go to Run, and I'm going to type in MMC, hit Enter. And this will open up our Microsoft Management Console. I'm going to go to File, Add Remove Snap-in and click on add and there it is active directory schema if we did not register that DLL then this would not be there so I'll go ahead and add it click close click OK and I'm just gonna highlight my active directory schema right click on it and click on operations master this lets us know our current schema master is DC 2003.corp.com and that's the server I'm currently on also in order to modify the schema, which is what we're going to do with Forest Prep, we need to be me a member of the Schema Admins Group and the Enterprise Admins Group. And the tool we're going to use to prepare the forest and prepare the domain is going to be AD Prep. And it's found on your Windows Server 2008 or Windows Server 2008 R2 DVD. I've gone ahead and inserted my Windows Server 2008 R2 DVD into this server, and it's actually going to be in support and AD prep there it is now if you were planning on adding a Windows Server 2008 domain controller as opposed to a Windows Server 2008 R2 domain controller then you can actually run the AD prep tool from the Windows Server 2008 DVD and it's actually in the sources directory of that particular DVD but the process is going to be exactly the same Actually, there is one more difference. Uh, if we're going to be running the AD prep tool on a 32-bit machine, which I'm actually going to be doing because this domain controller is Windows 2003 32-bit, we're going to want to run the AD prep 32.exe. If it was a 64-bit machine, we would just run AD prep. If this was the Windows Server 2008 DVD, there's only one version, AD prep, and that's all we would run. Now, in order to run AD prep, we need to have our domain functional level at Windows Server 2000 native at a minimum. And therefore, our forest functional level has to be at Windows Server 2000 at a minimum. And we can check this by using Active Directory Domains and Trusts. So I'll go ahead and launch that tool. And if I want to check the forest functional level, I can just right click on my Active Directory Domains and trusts and click on raise force functional level this is going to let let us know what our current force functional level is mine's windows server 2003 so i'm in good shape uh, if let's say it was windows 2000 then it would give me the option to upgrade it to windows server 2003 force functional level if all my domain controllers were windows server 2003 to check the domain functional level we just right click on our domain go to raise domain functional level and here we can see our current domain function level. Mine's Windows Server 2003 also. So I'm in good shape. So I'll go ahead and close out. And also before we prepare the forest, which extends and modifies the schema, we want to be real careful because this is a one-way operation. 
That means if we have problems when we extend this schema out, it affects all of the domain controllers in all of our domains, and there's no way to reverse it. We just have to really, it's, it's a very difficult problem to try to troubleshoot and fix. So to prevent that from happening and kind of safeguard against a fairly large disaster, what we can do is, first of all, take a backup of our schema master and then disconnect it from the network before we prepare the forest. What that does is it makes it so that if there's a problem during the prepare forest operation, we can then restore from backup, reconnect it to the network, and we shouldn't have any problems. It would be like it never happened. And then we should have other domain controllers on our network that are servicing clients while our schema admin has been disconnected from the network. So there should be no interruption in service. But still, we'd want to do this during some kind of maintenance window normally, or at least during off hours. So we're ready to do it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a command prompt. And I'm going to go to my D drive. I'm going to change directory to support, and then change directory to my AD prep directory. And I'm going to type in AD prep. I'm going to use the 32-bit version. And a space, then slash forest prep. And hit enter. Gives me a warning here. It needs, lets me know that all of my Windows 2000 Active Directory domain controllers need to be at least at service pack 4. I don't even have any Windows Server 2000 domain controllers, so I'm in good shape. So I'll go ahead and type in C, and then press Enter to continue. And now we get to see all the different LDF files it's going to load in order to extend our Active Directory schema. Okay, AD Prep successfully updated the forest-wide information. Now, if we ran into any errors during this process, we'd want to check the event viewer in the system log to figure out exactly what those errors were and try to get a little bit more information. And to try to troubleshoot those errors, we can also use the DC Diag tool, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Also, we need to wait for the schema changes to replicate out to all of our domain controllers in our forest before we move on to the next step and prepare our domain. And later on, we're going to go in depth into replication as well and how to use the rep admin tool to check on the status of replication.